All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get to the meat of starting to remove the transmission from the uh, from the engine in the uh, Mini Cooper. There's two bolts. They're the 10 millimeters like we've been using back here. Uh, one of them we've already removed. There's not a lot to see, but these are these are going to have to come out of here. So really, it's right below the starter is where you're going to find these two bolts directly below and then a little uh, around the bell housing toward that. And here's what um, what these look like right here. And um, now we're going to go to the front. So there's only the two in the back. I'm going to go around to the front and there are one, two, three, four, five up front. Uh, none at the very center of the transmission. So we're going to go ahead and just loosen these a little bit here. Also, we position the floor jack under there. There's a, uh, a spline shaft uh, that, that this fits over that we don't want to damage. We want to take this transmission out as level as we can with the engine so we don't put any, uh, any weight on there and bend anything up. So we're going to go ahead and get this one off here. There we go. Make sure they're all Make sure that they're all loose where we we'll probably get them off. Get them off by hand. And hopefully we won't have a, a, a transmission flying off at us. I'm going to leave one top one and one at the bottom just to kind of get an idea how easily this thing is going to slip off. Because um, I'm really not sure. It shouldn't be a big deal. Transmission mating up to an engine is a transmission mating up to an engine. We'll have to uh, put some of these bolts in our engine. Looks like we have two different lengths of uh, a bolt. And we said, do we have five? Of course, I'm sure we'll be proven wrong and there'll be six. I think that's what we've got here. This doesn't really want to cooperate. Okay, with that one, I'll loosen the other, the other two enough to where I can start to get this to slip or to slide, I hope, the transmission off of the splined input shaft. See what we shall see here in a moment. We got this one coming out. And again, this transmission is going to be worked on. It's going to be split apart, and we're going to be putting in a quaif limited slip differential, which should get our uh, when the power is applied, and since this is going to be running about a 170 foot-pounds of torque, pretty much from almost no RPM, um, we don't want to get wheel slip. So that's a fairly, fairly nice racing engine option. So this transmission is going to be torn down anyway, and um, even though it's only got a couple hundred miles on it, it's going to be rebuilt. These bolts are a little long with a real fine thread, so they're just going to take a couple of minutes to get to. So just bear with me, as you may be able to witness the whole thing exploding in my hands. All right. There's another one. Let's finish taking this top one. Nothing, nothing catastrophic has happened yet. But there's still time. All right, now I'm going to have to come around here. We've got some little bit of pressure on that floor jack there. 
and we're just going to see what happens when we try to separate all this mess. And it looks like it's starting to come. And I think you can see it here. There's a couple of uh, bolts that were from the, from the starter and we put those back in again. And we remove the starter. And it looks like those are gonna need to come back out. But we are, there we go. And we have successfully pulled the, uh, pulled the transmission off. We've got our, our shaft. Now we know what we're working with internally in terms of what our, uh, what our electric motor is going to, uh, going to require. This is our throw out bearing here. Uh, this operates the, um, the diaphragm here, the pressure plate. Our clutch disc is in here, and here is our, uh, here's our flywheel. So it looks like we have the engine and the transmission apart, and this engine is going to be going off to the shop now and uh, get the work done to it. Well, we're going to be reusing our uh, clutch, the, the diaphragm, the pressure plate, as well as the flywheel. These pieces are, instead of being bolted to the flywheel, which is bolted to the engine, under the electric motor, the flywheel is, uh, we're going to have to uh, fabricate a, uh, basically a carrier for that flywheel that's going to, that's going to be secured to the output shaft of our electric motor. And the clutch and the pressure plate will still operate just like they used to. The pressure plate will st uh, still be attached to the flywheel uh, and, the, and, the, and the clutch will be attached to the um, basically come off of the uh, transmission just like it did. So this will all be in exactly the same place except it'll be in a bell housing that we'll have fabricated and, uh, and this will, the flywheel will instead be attached to the electric motor. So we're gonna have to start disassembling this. Um, we like to slowly take a clutch off um, one bolt at a time. You do it crossways. This way it'll, it'll allow it to come out um, even. It's not critical, but it is nice to do. And that way this, this diaphragm will just kind of work its way out gently. Um, and we just have to find all the bolts here as we're going. That's going to be the biggest thing, trying to keep my head out of the way. Um, so you guys don't have to take a look at that. But it looks like this is coming out quite nicely. Just going to keep working this off. So you, know, you can see it start to release a little. We'll go up. This one will release a little. Eventually all that tension will be off of it. And we'll be, we'll be fine. I'm going to step around the other side where I can see these. It's probably difficult to see, but this is coming off fairly straight now. And that's really what we want. Yeah, if I can find them all. This is a eight millimeter uh, torque, so really we're gonna need these when it comes time to uh, put this back on and get the proper torquing. We've already got that as well. We've got all the torque specs for these bolts when we're going to go ahead and put them back on. Once we don't have any with any pressure on them, that means we've released all the pressure now. It's just a matter of us getting the, uh, getting the bolts out of there. It is kind of a nice setup they have here. Uh, BMW Mini has some little locating pins, so this isn't shouldn't all come flying off into our into our hands and on the garage floor once we have all the all the bolts out. Oh, I missed one. That's why it came off so easy. There we 
go. So like we talked about, our flywheel here, this will have to be unbolted. There's our clutch disc, and that's again going to be uh, mounted on that spline, uh, directly mated to the transmission. Our pressure plate's going to be remounted up to the flywheel, but all of this is going to be mounted to an adapter that we're going to have to make for that, uh, for that electric motor. And also keep in mind all the critical measurements we're going to have to make because this is all going to have to be in relatively the same place.